Hi guys, so big update. Um, I didn't make videos for a while because I literally was dying from allergies, like my humidifier broke and I had to get a new one. Now that I got a new humidifier, I've sound better than I've sounded in a week. Like the day after using my humidifier again, I sounded like my voice was almost back to normal. Um, but with the good news comes bad. Uh, my friend tested positive for COVID yesterday, so she took two tests to make sure. Um, so I just picked up some tests from Walgreens this morning, uh, did the no contact pickup. And, um, so I guess we'll see, um, even if I am positive, I'm not worried because I have no symptoms. Literally, maybe a dry cough. That's it. Like, my allergies, basically, I just got over that. And, I mean, I could have even gotten it from my dad. My dad just had it, so I could have even gotten it from living in a house with him. I mean... This allergy stuff could have been COVID. I mean, I don't know. We never know. Like, we never know. But if I do have COVID, okay, I get to film more videos for you guys. So, win win. Uh, anyway, um, the pollen count's high. Fucking. Okay, so today I have a video for you that's a little um interesting, a little off the wall. It's how to be friends with famous people. Now, I, people say necessarily that I am not friends with super famous people. I know, I'm not saying I'm friends with the Kardashians or anything, but I am friends with Tom Dionardi, who used to be in In Loving Memory, and I am friends with Public, the band that has the song, Put Your Hand In Mine, that one. So I do know um, a little bit, but I saw some people getting a little crazy when it comes to famous people. So I thought I would tell you the do's and don'ts of being friends with famous people. That air conditioner scared me. Okay, let's start with the do's. Do talk to them a couple of times. Okay, so let's say you go to all their shows and you always meet them after the show. Start conversation, engage them in conversation because what I've noticed with Public and Tom is that we've already made inside jokes between each other. So since we've already made inside jokes, we've established that. But the more you talk to somebody, the more the possibility for inside jokes is. So it's kind of like, you know, just keep engaging them in conversation and go to meet them every time after the show. Number two, just be a decent human being. What I mean by that is don't freak them out. Don't go, oh my God, don't like, you know, crowd their space, give them their space. Be, you know, like a normal person going to meet them. It's like decent human being basically means remember your matters and use them because they're going to respect that. Three, going in with what I just said, be respectful. You want to be friends with them, but you're not there yet. So just be respectful. Just be mindful of their boundaries, respectful of their space, and respectful of them, okay? They're taking time out of what they could use to rest up to meet you, so just be respectful. Four, don't jump into personal topics right away. I know when people want to be friends with people, sometimes they spill their guts. These people just met you. They don't know anything about you. Remember, don't tell them any personal anecdotes until you get to the friend part because that could kind of freak them out. They don't want to know, you don't want to give away too much personal information first. And the last do is just be nice. Be nice and welcoming. This is a state that they probably don't live in. So be nice and welcoming for them when they come here because they came to put on a show to entertain you. Um, okay. Now let's move on to the five don'ts. One, the day after you meet them, don't call them your bestie. I know on TikTok there's this trend to be like, oh my god, bestie, oh I met my bestie, like, no. 
because if you call them your bestie and they see it, they're going to get a little freaked out. They're going to be like, oh, they might not think you're friends with them yet. So they might be like, um, we're not friends. And I just don't want anybody out there to get their feelings hurt. Number two, don't just assume that you get special perks. So if you are friends with a famous person, don't just assume that because you're friends with them, you get special perks. Like, I'm friends with public, but I don't get to go backstage when they play places. I'm friends with Tom, but I don't think he'd invite me backstage. Well, Tom's different, he might, but that's besides the point. The point that I'm trying to make is don't expect you get special perks just by being friends with them. Number three. Do not post all over social media that you're friends with them. Um, I more say this is a cautionary tale that's something you shouldn't do. Um, because I've had a lot of people try to pretend to be friends with me to get to the members. So I guess that's not actual, it's just an anecdote. But number three is don't assume that you know everything about them. Because that's something that nobody would like. So that's just something you don't want to do. Number four, for the love of God, do not tag them in every single thing you put up. Like every once in a while, putting up the picture of you and them and saying, oh, I miss my friend, or it was cool meeting this person, that's fine. But do not, for the love of God, tag them in every single picture, putting it up every single day. They're going to get overwhelmed, and that's just too much. And number five, this should be self-explanatory. Don't fling yourself at them. Don't, like, throw yourself into them. No, that's just not, that's just not smart. Um, anyway, yeah, so that's, uh, my video. So if you guys want to ask me more questions about this, or if you guys want step-to-step -step details, or if you guys want more information about how to exactly enact this, uh, my Instagram and Twitter will be down below and my email if you guys want to email me. Um, yeah, just let me know that if you're messaging me about this video that you're messaging me about this video because I get a lot of other messages that aren't about my channel at all. So yeah, um, but I will see you guys in the next video. Let's hope I get good news. Bye.